Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can record on Streamlabs because a lot of you have been asking, how do you record and do a bunch of that stuff? Well, it's up on the screen right there and you can see it on the screen. So we are going to get into this and I'm going to show you perfect settings for you and how you can record because it's pretty cool. So I usually use Streamlabs. As you see right down there, it's recording right now. So I also use Streamlabs to live stream. Sometimes I use another program called GeForce Experience. You may not have this because it comes with GeForce NVIDIA graphics card. So it is basically your graphics card. I'm pretty sure that is what it is. It uses your graphics card to record. So I'm going to show you how to get um, Roblox up on the screen like you can see in the background. So let's get into this. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, hit that big ol' subscribe button and I'm going to be showing you how to do that too. So yeah, I'll s show you guys how to do that. So what you want to go and do, open up a new scene like this. You'll see this. Alright, but first I'm going to show you what you have to do. Alright, you can turn this off and you go to Alright, go and look up streamlabs.com. Alright, go and look that up. This is going to be in the description below. And you're going to want to press download. Here, whatever version you have, 64-bit, whatever, just go and download that if you want to use Streamlabs. You can also use OBS Studio, but this is not the video for OBS Studio. So I'm going to be showing you how to use Streamlabs. So it will look like this when you open it up. I'll show you right now. It will look like this. Alright? You won't have anything. You won't, like literally nothing. Alright? Just your mic. Probably your desktop audio. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that stuff right now. So it's going to look like that. And it's going to look pretty stupid. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that stuff. So what you want to do is come over here, you know, go over here, press that little thing. And then when you're in it, you want to go and add a scene. So go to display capture. All right. Go to display capture, add source. All right. That is going to add a source. All right. You can add that when you open up Streamlabs, but I already have it, so I'm just going to be showing you guys what you need to do. So you can do that. It's going to just look like that, as you can see. So you're going to see that. And you can also add, if you're going to live stream, you can also add alert box when someone subscribes to you on your YouTube channel, but you also have to hook that up to your YouTube channel. So let's just get into the what you have to do, how to make it look smooth and get it on your screen so you know I have a really good computer like a very good computer so I stream at 60 FPS alright 60 FPS let's open up settings alright so you come over here to settings you have to put your stream game I'm not gonna show that but I can show you where to get it your stream game alright so this is your stream key right here you can find it right there that is your stream key you just copy it and paste it right into your settings right here. Alright, you copy and paste that. Next, what you want to go is open up speedtest.net. Just look it up. Alright, I will probably hide some of this stuff so you don't get my, um, my, um, you know, my stuff. Alright, so you're going to open this up. You're going to go speedtest.net. And whatever your speed is at, your upload speed, that's what you put your record, your your upload speed, your bitrate on here. So you go and test it, how fast your internet. I have pretty good internet, but this, my upload speed is like 12. Alright, my upload speed is 12. It's, it's good for where I live. But my upload speed is 12. So yes, you go and look up this, speed test dot and yeah you'll be good alright so next you wanna come over here to output alright you're gonna to wanna to set this alright so whatever your bitrate is 
Your bitrate is literally how good it looks. Like, look at my name, my game right now. It looks pretty good. Like, if you go in here, it looks very good. So, that's how you get yours looking really good. So, you're going to want to open up bitrate. Right over here. You're going to go in here. Alright. You're going to go in here. And you go to speedtest.net. So, my speed is... I didn't show you my other speed, but I have another main internet that's pretty fast, so it goes 100. So you may want to put it on how fast your internet is. So if your if yours is 100 upload speed, you set it to 1, 10,000. If yours is like 12, you set it to 20,000. 200, not 200, 2,000. Not too, oh my goodness. Don't listen to that, okay? Just go off what is what your upload speed is. So yeah. Okay, so if I like the there is two sixty four and there is NVIDIA Nevic um new. So I use my graphics card to stream and record. That's what makes it look really good. You may not have this if you're on a computer that doesn't have an NVNC graphics card, but it's fine. You can do it with your um with your bitrate. That's fine. Um, yes, you set it to there's be there will be an option right here to set it to two sixty four. All right. So next, you can just copy this if your internet is like mine, but don't. You have to go off of your own internet, so just go and set it how you want. Audio, you don't touch anything here, okay? You go to video. Alright, so I record at 1080p, alright? Most YouTubers can't record at that. But I record at 1080p because I have really good internet. And I usually my canvas is resolution is 1080p by 1920. Um, keep this at this. If it says this, Lenzos sharpened scaling. Keep that at that. Common FPS. That should don't touch that. And when you, if you have a really good computer that does a lot of FPS like mine, then keep it at sixty. So your stream looks very good. Your mouse movement is very good, and everything is just smooth. So hockey's, you can set it whatever you want. I have mine at this, so you can so it says subscribe on the screen. Um, just do whatever you want. Mess around with the hockey's. You can literally set anything. But yeah, advance. You don't have to s touch anything here. Um, if you want your stream delay, um, stream delay. I don't have mine on. I just keep it on zero. 12 is good. I used to stream at 12 when my internet was terrible, but I have better internet now, so it's very good. So GPU, G4, Force GPU, that is what I use to record and stream. And literally, you're all good after this. You don't have to touch anything over here, okay? Um, general, don't touch anything because you don't really need to. And yeah, that is pretty much how you do it. Alright, so if you go on a new tab, I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to teach you how to use all of this stuff. So, I don't have it on right now when I record, but I can turn it on right now. Right there is my sub count. You can do all that good stuff. I'm going to be um, telling you how to do that on a different video. Um, but yeah, if you go in here and... If I turn this off, all right, face cam, this, if I turn this off, it's going to show that. So I'm going to turn it on, and you go in here, see this right here, you go in here, you click display capture, okay? If it, if everything's black on your screen, just click display capture, click add source, you can call it whatever you want, display capture number one because I already have one and you can set this to anything you want you can say display stream capture and that is how you do it and you can literally do whatever you want and right here 
you do that and yeah you just press done and you're all set so that is basically how you do that so if you want to add some other stuff like um, alert boxes you come over here you press this you press alert box alright and it says stage is not falling it could say something else but you just click that yes and you have to have your YouTube channel set up for this on so you have to sign in to your Streamlabs because if not it won't get anything from like when you when someone subscribes to your channel it gives you a notification on your email or on something that's why you need your YouTube hooked up your YouTube channel hooked up so right here this is how you hook it up you can log out don't log out if you're logged in but you need to log into your right YouTube channel okay so that is basically covering the whole thing you can get the display capture all of that it's pretty cool um I'm gonna remove it and now if you come in here it looks pretty cool you can also do another thing here so if you just want to show your game screen you can go to game capture here it's called game capture you press add source okay and then it will only capture your game I already have it down here so you just press that and then it should only capture your game alright you should you can resize it you can do whatever you want with it um, it's basically yours to decide what you do with it so if you don't wanna show your mouse because I can do whatever I want without you guys seeing it on live streams and I'm literally still in OBS and I turn it on game capture and it shows you that you, I'm in game only so it looks really good and it looks really good when you have game capture on I mean the screen capture is pretty good I don't I usually use game capture but when I'm showing you guys like stuff like this then I usually use game screen capture so yeah that is basically what you need to record at very nice graphics and and to stream at good graphics settings and so it looks very smooth and nice but you do have to have a very good PC for this my PC is very good it's very decent I mean it does gets the job done and at the end of the day that's what you need for a PC to do so it's basically you just need a good PC if you don't have one that does like let's say right here I'm doing about a hundred FPS so if you're not doing that much FPS then I would say you can't stream at max settings and while I'm doing 100 FPS, my graphics are all the way up. So that is pretty cool. You can do that. But you need a really good computer to stream. Because I am recording at 60 FPS, and I'm still doing like 190 FPS. And it is very smooth. And I am still also at max FPS in game. So that is pretty cool. Um, I sometimes do 200 FPS. But you really need a good computer because if you're going to stream at 60 FPS, you need a good computer. So I was basically going to wrap it up for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, let me know what you learned from this video. If it helped you out, give it a like. Um, like it up anyways. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this will help you. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it helped you. Um, yeah. It will help you stream, and you can start your own YouTube channel. You can do whatever you put your mind to, guys. Literally, you just need time and the patience to do it. So, yeah, that is basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, peace.